Hello guys, Wizix here. I'm happy to introduce you the new update of Asset It 1.2. The main thing you can see is I redesign and improve the UI of the script. So mainly some colorful and little adjustment on size. Uh, one main thing is now you have the asset management in the bottom here. So you have the search bar that is here now, uh, the name of the asset always, and the size of the thumbnail, a bit uh, space improvement. The main feature is now I add uh, outliner listing. You still have the access to the tab. If you prefer, it's great. Tab are great because it's usually better I, uh, I found and faster to, to switch the way you want. But uh, that come with a problem. If you have too much tab, uh, let's create some more tab for in Art Surface. For that, you can open the folder, go to Art Surface. I can also create here, but I want to do something quick. So let's just create and OK, <laughs> copy past some folder. It's possible. I reload the app and now I have all my folder here and the problem is like the attribute editor you have to deal with this. A little trick is you can come here and you can use the mouse scroll to scroll faster. Problem is if you go too much you will hit the plus button and that will open the window but it's a trick. Anyway you just have to click this little slash and that will switch uh, the mod to the outliner one that will hide the tab. You can switch back using the same button. Okay, it's a switch between the two display button. So the one you prefer will be saved. If you open again, that will keep in your your setting. And now I came to Art Surface and it's way, way, way easier. So as you can see, I can see the full name. So there is a plus and minus here. It's just some setting to adjust the size of the listing. So of course the name is a bit heavy here, it's a bit long, but... And same thing, the size is uh, settings that are saved with um, asset it. And it's empty, but of course way, way better to, to find. So yes, I hope you will like this feature. Um, just some things to notice. If you add to favorite, you still uh, need to use the tab here. Okay, I can't add it in the outliner for now. So you have your favorites now here, just only. Just a little things to know. Well, this is about UI improvement. Also some minor bug fix and a major feature you are a lot to request is to add the support to two more renderer. So now when you create an asset, you have here the ability to choose which renderer you want to save. So Arnold very Redshift, which is not installed on my computer, and Viewport 2.0. That could be useful in some case if you want to use the viewport only as a snapshot. So uh, some use a stingray node or you know for gaming. Uh, so ask me for this too. Okay. So yes, you just have to set your render and that should work as expected. Okay, so let's store a very asset. So I will create a new very tab for me and call demo. Okay, great. So now I will use this one. So I select it. Remember that asset it will save the selection at the place it is in the scene. So when you will import, it will be import at this place. So if you want to initialize at the grid, for example, your asset at 000, uh, things to place it. You have some helper here, remember? Uh, so I will put it at the center of my scene to save it. Um, don't worry also about other objects in the scene that will be hide and exclude at the rendering. Now I can open the helper. Um, I will choose very, of course, 
and here you can if you want to switch off the light you can choose your own framing or if you're not that will auto frame okay i validate you can render the thumbnail or create the asset and auto render this is if you want to check uh, i'm on the right place okay let's go when you create it will open the very frame buffer uh, in order that you have a look at the rendering time and thing like that okay it's done asset it don't affect a uh, very render setting which means if you well set uh, on very first uh, then you go to your render setting okay you can go here and you put the quality render you want um, that will be take in count at the thumbnail if it's too long or if you want better quality just put your own render setting before to use um, asset it thumbnail let's uh, asset info okay i have my thumbnail here you install also the render info here in renderer texture everything let's open a new scene be sure to be on very and now if i just click it import my file with my very texture everything in place it's okay can create a very light nice Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this update and thanks to also have a look at my other scripts on the Wizik store.